Okay, we've been working with uh, linear equations for the last two or three weeks. Okay, they can be written as y equals blank x plus blank. Okay, that number that we put in front of the x was the slope. The number that we put at the end was the y-intercept. Okay, and they made a line. Okay, right? We've been working with lines when we looked at the pixel problems. Okay, they've all been straight lines. Okay, for the rest of the year, we're going to focus on a special type of line, a special type of linear equation. Okay, we're going to look at proportional linear equations. Okay, they are linear equations, but they're special in the sense that they have a y-intercept of zero. Okay, so when you think about y equals something x plus something, okay, that number at the end, the y-intercept, it's zero. So if you have y equals some number times x plus 0, you don't even have to have the plus 0 at the end. It's going to simply be y equals some number times x. Okay, so the y-intercept is 0. Okay, and the equation will look like y equals some number, which is the slope, times x. Okay, so proportional equations, they're going to form lines that pass through point zero, zero, okay, because that would be zero on the y-axis, okay, that would be a y-intercept of zero. Okay, let's try some of these. Okay, uh, pause the video and ask yourself which of these graphs are proportional. Okay, so you want to try to do this on your own. Think about which of these graphs are proportional. Which of these graphs are straight lines that go through point zero, zero? Okay, kind of think of that for a minute before you unpause the video. Okay, the first problem. Okay, this is a straight line. Okay, it is a straight line. And looky right here. There's point zero, zero and it's going through point zero, zero. Okay, so this is proportional. Okay, second one. Okay, this is not a straight line. Okay, it's a curve. So all, already, that is not a proportional relationship. Okay, the third one. Okay, we need to ask ourselves: is, is, it, is, is it a straight line that goes through point zero, zero? Okay, it is a straight line. But is it going through point zero, zero right here? Okay, it's not. It's not going through zero, zero. So that is not proportional. Okay, the next one. Okay, is this a straight line? Yes, it is. Is it going through point zero, zero? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's a proportional equation, a proportional graph. Okay, the next one. Is this a straight line? Okay, yes it is. Is it going through point zero, zero down here? Okay, it's not. Okay, so that is not proportional. Okay, the last one. Is this a straight line? Okay, it's not a straight line. So right away, that is not proportional. Okay, so again, to be a proportional graph, it has to be two things. It has to be a straight line, and it has to go through point zero, zero. Okay, the next thing to look at is an equation. Okay, remember we said a proportional equation looks like y equals something x, and that something is a slope. And also remember that something, that slope could be written as a fraction. Okay, we want to think of it as a fraction. The slope is rise over run. Okay, so here's some equations. Just uh, take a minute. Uh, decide for yourself, do you think these are proportional equations? Okay, then unpause the video and check. Okay, the first one. Okay, does that look like? y equals some number x? 
Okay, well, it has a little bit at the end. No, it doesn't. That's not proportional. Okay, the next one, y equals 1 fourth x. Is that y equals some number x? Yes, it is. That is proportional. Okay, the next one, y equals 5x. Does that look like y equals some number times x? Okay, does it look like this? It does. It's proportional. Okay, the next one, y equals 5x plus 9. Okay, it has that extra on the end. It has the plus 9. Okay, it's crossing the y-axis at 9. Okay, not at 0, like we want it to. That is not proportional. Okay, the next one, y equals 1 half x to the third power. Well, Mr. Y didn't say anything about exponents. Okay, that is not proportional. It can't have an exponent there. Okay, the next one, y equals x. Okay, is that y equals some number times x? Okay, be careful, because remember, if there's no number in front of an x, it's understood to be a 1. Okay, so that's really the same as y equals 1 times x. Okay, that is proportional. Okay, the next one, y equals x plus 6, or you could think of it as y equals 1x plus 6. Is that proportional? Okay, does it look like this? y equals a number x? No. It has the y-intercept of 6 at the end. That is not. Okay, the last one, y equals 4x squared. Okay, this is kind of like that problem over here. y equals 1 half x cubed. Okay, it has an exponent on it. Those are not proportional. Okay, so to be a proportional equation, it has to look just like this. y equals some number x, okay, even if it's an understood number like y equals 1x. Okay, it can't have a number added to the end. It can't have exponents on it. Okay, it has to look just like this. Okay, guys, we're going to get into this in a lot more detail after Thanksgiving break. Okay, for right now, there's an IXL, and it's just to see if you can distinguish between a proportional and non-proportional graph and a proportional and a non-proportional equation. Okay, just do the very best you can. Use the hints, um, and let me know if you have any questions with the IXL lesson.